Hi and welcome everybody. Um, today we will um, implement a optical source. Like for this example, we're uh, it's kind of a sun here, and also we want to implement um, one file from Zmax that will be here this collimator, and um, yeah, we are applying some scatterers on the surface that will be a Harvey shake scatterer, and um, also we will have um, we will calculate this in a given direction because if you have stray light then uh, yeah a lot of um, a lot of rays occurring and you have the capability with a thread that um, yeah you can only um, calculate rays in a certain direction or in our case in uh, uh, through a certain spot then yeah thank you and i hope you enjoy this um, video Hi and everybody. Now, um, at first, we want to implement this um, CMAX file. It's a collimator, and just click on File and click on Import. Um, I already saved this before, and it's just Import Optical Data. And then you go on on your document. In our case, this will be a collimator with CMAX. Then you have a uh, uh, you have different options at at our in our case, there is no source needed. I just click create. Um, yep, it's already um, implemented here. You also see in the object tree, um, it's well defined. Um, if you want to check um, if this is good implemented, yeah, you can yeah, you can also check this the surfaces. Okay, the next thing is we will um, implement the optical source. Um, for this example, uh, at first. We want to we want to model as the sun, and for this we need um, yeah we need the spectra of the sun. For this we just click right click, create new spectrum. Uh, we using the sample version. Just right click, and then digitize curve. And I will select the image of the sun. I saved it on my desktop. Spectrum of the sun. And the first is um, we will select our um, x and y minimum. Um, it's um, 0 0.2. Please have in mind this is also microns. This is not a nanometer, this is a micrometer. And the ridge should be um, 0. Then selecting the, the x maximum, this should be 20 micron, 20 micrometer. And also the uh, maximum of our y. Um, we will norm normalize this, that means I, also, I just will, will use one. Okay, now we are ready for selecting the data, and we will click here on the graph, point by point. I think this um, they will do a linear fit between the points, but yeah, feel free. Um, they're more uh, the better you're you're choosing your points, the better are the better are your data. Here we go. Then export the data, and it's already there. Let's look. Now we will change this to um, spectra, spectra sun, and just click OK. Now we can check this what what we're implementing here with right click, then create, um, and then plot spectrum or spectra. And yeah, this uh, is now the wavelengths of the yeah, of the whole spectrum of the sun. It's very easy to implement it. It's very easy to implement. Okay, now you go optical source, right click, create new um, new detail optical source, and then then we choosing here our random uh, random points arranged in in a volume, and then uh, we can change. Um, we can just click apply, and then we see already here's just kind of ball. Um, I think now we, we will take two uh, two millimeters. Let's see how big this will be. Ah, uh, we need some X Y Z. And I click just to apply. Uh, maybe a little bit more data points, like I don't know, five thousand, five thousand. Now you see this will be our light source. Um, this should be um, uh, yeah, this should be in a different. Um, they should be randomly directed into a sphere. That means, like, they should, um, yeah, 
um, in, in, two, in the 2p um, uh, angle and all over 360 degree, a degree should this um, yeah should this be calculated okay uh, maybe do some more like maybe 8000 okay we just click apply okay now ah second thing um, also we have to apply the spectrum that means we go on uh, at the moment it's just this 580 nanometers now we go on uh, um, specified spectrum randomly according to spectrum and then we choose the spectrum of the sun now um, yeah now there will there just will um, yeah will use this way things what we what we had already what we what we defined in the spectrum of the sun okay now we want to move the source just right click position orientation and I think I picked some of the data I think 10 uh, 10 and minus 50 should be good okay, now this is a little bit uh, moved away okay this will be our first um, yeah, our first simulation uh, just have a look if this is proper simulated ah you see um, it's just uh, yeah, just um, calculates the whole um, area and only a few um, beams are reaching um, uh, this surface okay then we will implement um, our uh, our our circle and the circle we can define um, if we are playing a scatterer uh, that only in this direction will the scatter uh, scatterer uh, that only in this direction the rays will be calculated that means uh, we're going on with right click and then uh, we are uh, creating a new assembly um, just leave this as assembly just click OK then right click um, create uh, right click create new custom element and this we call a, a circle or oh, this will um, circle here we go and now right click uh, now we have to uh, generate our our curve create new curve and here we go this is already an arc and also we can uh, change the diameter of this just try to apply and you see this is implemented here ah this was we just move this now it's implemented here and you can change the radius like you know, to three also we change this to a nice red color that um, this is a little bit bigger also we can change here um, your yeah also can uh, do a scaling fact uh, scaling factor and um, yeah change the size all right now we want to move this guy and just right click um, position orientation and we will move this to um, 30 30 in 30 millimeters at z let's click apply and now this should be moved also we will um, uh, use our detector surface that means um, we are doing right click on uh, analyzing surface create new surface and yeah we already we will do this We'll shift this at 30, 30 millimeters, and the sizing I think I think it should be minus three, and maximum plus three. Okay, that should be fine. Um, I think the divisions we do a little bit more. Um, this is a little too rough. Okay, maybe a little more eighty. Here we go this should be fine and now if we want to um, if we want to apply scatter of all of the surfaces we already implemented um, the Shavi the Harvey shake scatterer and this is normally this is very good um, scatterer for uh, yeah, for optics for polish opt for polished optics and I just drag and drop this on all of the surfaces 
and then also we can double check this um, in the yeah, in the in the surface menu. Okay, here we go. We just close this. Also, you, you have the option to go to edit, edit view all surface, and then uh, you see um, what is applied here. Now we change to everything to how we scatter. Also, you have here the option to change this easily. Okay, um, let's have a first calculation, and you see um, now there are more rays um, calculated, and um, yeah, the good thing is now. I can decide um, which uh, which bounces should be calculated, and now we're deciding. Okay, the only bounces um, they are going through the circle should be calculated. That means I go to to the surface, go to scatterer, um, edit edit this guy here, and then go through um, scatterer towards. Um, scatter a ray towards a closed curve and then it's already picked here the scattered curve here and call this scatter rays through a closed curve let's click ok apply and, and calculate this again yeah, you can also apply this on uh, every surface, and then yeah, it should be. You see already, this um, this calculation is more more goes through this um, the surface. But also, you can add this scatterer on the on the next one, scatterer, add it, close loop. Okay, apply, calculate this again. And you see, um, every time if you're applying this, um, yeah, it's um, a better version because only this, uh, the stray, uh, stray light in this given direction will be calculated. All right, um, let's have a, a, a brief example. Um, how does it? How does will it look like? Because maybe um, uh, this can be a good solution for um, uh, if, if yeah, for stray light calculation. What happens and does this make any um, uh, influence? Just click here at source, and uh, now we want to um, yeah. We want I think I think we will do like eight millions. Just click apply. Now we are calculating eight million rays. This is a lot of, and we will will use this button here because the rays don't will uh, don't will be drawn. Okay, it already started. And let's see how how fast it will is will be. All right, this took now um, this took um, now twenty um, seconds. Um, we want to analyze this. Just click on analyze, then go on iteration speed function. And then, uh, yeah, then you see your influence. Um, for example, in this ob with this object, if um, light, um, yeah, if um, maybe a sun um, is, you look in a sun or in a light source, then also you can just right click, and then uh, show in visualization view um, to have a better overview about this. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, video, and uh, please let me know what what other topics you're interested, in, and please um, comment um, under this uh, video. Thank you very much.